examine the ways in which you can format and align your text, but let's now look at the paragraph level formatting options. Unlike character level formatting, most of the paragraph formatting options can only be found on the Home tab in the Paragraph group. The types of lists you can create are really simple and easy to remember. Bulleted lists have bullet points and numbered lists have numbers. We're going to learn how to create both. If you want to create a list using existing text, select the text in the text box that you want to use to make a list. Next, make sure you're in the Home tab and go to the Paragraph group. And from there, you can choose either bullets or numbers. You can click the drop down arrow to select different styles. And we've made a bulleted list. Now, if you were creating a new list, you would place the cursor in the publication where you want to create your list. Select whether you want either bullets or numbers, choose your style, and then simply start typing. And it will automatically number that list for you. Now, as with all word processing programs, you can align the text to the left, to the right, center, or justify it. You can do one of these things to a portion of the text or to the entire publication. So even within this list, if I wanted to, I could break it up in different ways. Now, as you can see, the buttons and commands for aligning text are right here under the Home tab. And just an example, the text here is Justified, which gives it a really clean look, and you can see it lines up both the right and the left edges of the text. And just to vary that here, your Align buttons again are located here under the Home tag. If I hit Center, you can see the way that changes. Let's look at the left alignment. Right alignment, and again, justified, distributes it evenly. So to use any of these, you would just select your text and then click the appropriate button for the look you want. And sometimes with a publication, you may not know right away, so just click through and see what appeals the most to you. Now let's talk about setting line spacing. When you change the line spacing, you change the space that appears between every line of text in a paragraph. Publisher adds the space below each line. To set the line spacing, you'll go to the Home tab, and then into the Paragraph group. And you'll click this button here. You'll then see the line spacing values. 2.0 represents double space. 1.0 represents single space. If you don't see the spacing that you want, click on Line Spacing Options. And then you can set all your options here. Now for paragraph spacing, if you want to start a new paragraph within a text box, just press the Enter key on your keyboard. But what if you want to add more space between paragraphs? Of course, you could push the Enter key more than once, but why bother when you can also set spacing between paragraphs? To add space after a paragraph, click this button here in the Paragraph group, and then you can select your spacing from the drop-down menu. Now you can also indent paragraphs inside text boxes using these two buttons in the Paragraph group under the Home tab. The button on the left decreases the indention of the paragraph, and the button on the right increases the indent of the paragraph. You can also set tabs. Tabs are not quite the same as indents. You may remember setting the tab stops on your typewriter and then using the tab key to do everything from indenting the first sentence of a paragraph to creating bullet points or numbered lists. Those days are long gone. The truth is you could use a word processor for years without ever using the tab key. You don't really need it anymore. The word processor automatically indents the first sentence, and the bullet list and numbered list buttons allow you to easily indent those. But if you do need to set tabs, go to the Home tab, and then click on this arrow in the lower right hand corner of the paragraph group to launch the paragraph settings window. Click on the Tabs tab. Type a value into the default tab stops field, and then click OK. Now let's talk a little bit about using styles. Styles are simply character and paragraph attributes you can apply easily to your text. We encourage anyone working with electronic text to use styles. They usually work across platforms and make it easy to create things like tables of contents. What's more, you can change the attributes of a style and every block of text that a style was applied to will automatically adjust to reflect those changes. Styles can be created for headlines, subheadlines, body text, sample text, and more. To apply a style to any text, go to the Home tab and locate the Styles button, which looks like this giant letter A with the paintbrush next to it. 
You can click to see the available styles, or you can even click New Style to create your own. As you can see here, Publisher comes with a bunch of predefined style sets. If you're not satisfied with any of those styles, you can import styles from another program, such as Microsoft Word, or you can create a new one. When you click on New Style, this is the window that opens. Here you can enter a name for the style, select the font, character spacing, paragraph format, and more. And then you simply click OK when you're finished. To modify any style, you can click again on the Styles button, and then right click on any style. Then select Modify. You'd enter all your new values and click OK. Now Publisher 2013 can also wrap paragraphs around a picture or graphic as shown here. To wrap text around an image, double click on the object, and then the Picture Tools Format tab will appear in the ribbon. Go over here to the Arrange group and click on the Wrap Text button. You're given different options for how to wrap your text. Square means that your image sits in the same plane as the text. The text flows around the image in a square pattern. Tight text flows around the image, hugging its shape. If you insert a circular shape, the text will take a circular pattern around the text. Top and bottom means the text will appear on top of the image and at the bottom. Through means that the text will flow around the image as best as possible. In line with text is the default wrapping style. And edit wrap points, you can see it gives you all these different little dots here, will let you customize the points where your text is wrapped around the image.